Born the Prince of Shandal, Arthur Pendrag Tanriel was the son of King Myrdin and Queen Mylind, trained from a young age as a warrior, strategist, and leader. His homeland of Shandal was a small kingdom surrounded by larger armies that kept them under constant threat of attack and forced them to develop a strong professional army. In addition, the kingdom's close proximity to Tarvalin, home of powerful Aes Sedai sorceresses, likely helped discourage major military action against them. In 937 FY, Arthur married Amaline Tagora and then ascended to the throne in 939 when his parents both died of black fever which ravaged the land. Shortly after becoming king, a new threat rose in the Westlands when Gwer Amalasin declared himself the dragon reborn, claiming he was Luce Theron Telamon reincarnated, the hero from the Age of Legends who prophecies proclaimed would one day come again. However, after Sidene, the male half of the One Power was tainted by the Dark One Shaitan. Male Aes Sedai like Luce Theron and his companions went mad and created such devastation it caused the reshaping of continents. And so it fell to the female Aes Sedai of the White Tower to track down their male counterparts and eliminate them as a threat. Afterwards, men were forbidden from channeling the One Power, and so from time to time, when a man falsely proclaimed himself as the Dragon Reborn and started channeling Sidene, War often followed as some flocked to his banner, while others rose in opposition. Such was the case for Gwer Amalasin, who led his followers to conquer a great number of territories, prompting the remaining nations to join with the Aes Sedai of the White Tower to oppose this aggression. However, all these armies were defeated by the false dragon, save for those under Arthur Paindrag, who came to be known as Arthur Hawkwing when his forces gained a reputation for speed. Although Hawkwing was often outnumbered, his skill as a commander led him to eventually defeat and capture the false dragon at the Battle of Jolvine Pass in 943. Some believe that the War of the Second Dragon, as it came to be known, was fought between two Taviran, who each possessed great skill and the ability to inspire devotion from those around them, destined to drastically influence history. In order to hand the false dragon over to the Aes Sedai for punishment, Hawkwing marched his forces to Tarvalin, yet this greatly offended the women of the White Tower, who accused him of breaking the law that forbade armies from entering their territory. Although it is unknown whether the Aes Sedai who accompanied Hawkwing gave him permission, they were punished in any case by the White Tower for allowing this action. The King of Shandal was then given five days to rest before departing, yet Tarvalin soon fell under attack by false dragon loyalists, with many claiming the Aes Sedai were forced to ask for assistance from Hawkwing and his army, who swiftly defeated the enemy. Nevertheless, Sponwin Meraigden, leader of the Aes Sedai, was displeased with all that had occurred and remained an enemy of Hawkwing, who soon returned home. Yet peace was not to last, as Shandal fell under attack by an alliance of Camberin, Tova, and Kodamar, possibly supported by the Aes Sedai under Bonwin Meraigden, and who resented Hawkwing's military prowess, fearing he meant to conquer his neighbors. After defeating the alliance, Hawkwing raised fresh troops and launched a 19-year campaign that came to be known as the Consolidation, in which he conquered all of the Westlands, save for Tarvalin, which was placed under siege. Successfully creating a mighty empire, Arthur Hawkwing made peace with the Aes Sedai and re-established cordial relations, then ruling for 30 years, during which there were seven rebellions and a Trolloc invasion from 986 to 987, each of which were put down by the High King and his forces. Arthur and his wife Amaline had four children, however each of them met tragic fates as his son Modair was killed in battle, while the other three as well as his wife were poisoned. Deeply affected by the loss, the king became bitter and harsh, suspecting that the Aes Sedai were behind the attack. Yet in the year 965, he married his second wife, Tamika, and together had several more children. For many years, Hawkwing proved an invincible military commander and wise ruler, beloved by the common folk for promoting people based on merit rather than class or bloodline. But he eventually made decisions that greatly weakened the empire and sowed the seeds of war, with some believing this was due to the influence of Jalwin Morad, who came to his court in 973 and rose to become one of the High King's most trusted advisors. Yet this was no ordinary man, as many centuries later it was learned Jalwin Morad was in fact Ishamael, a servant of the Dark One, who came to sow chaos and war in Hawkwing's empire. 
After Lustheran trapped the Dark One's servants away during the Age of Legends, Elon Morin Tedronai, known as Ishamael, was only partially imprisoned, able to return to the world for four decades every thousand years. With Jalwin Morad by his side, Hawkwing's relations with the White Tower once again soured, as he believed they were scheming and using him to further their own power. This led the High King to dismiss all Aes Sedai from his court, once again laying siege to Tar Valin. Nearing the end of his life, Hawkwing decided to expand his empire further by sending two great armadas to explore new lands, each of them consisting of roughly 2,000 ships and 300,000 soldiers. The first group was sent in 992 across the Aerith Ocean to Shan Chan, led by the king's son Luther, while the second group was sent to the eastern lands of Shara, led by one of his daughters. Unfortunately, contact was lost with both expeditions, and the empire was greatly weakened by their loss. After five decades of rule, Arthur Hawkwing became ill, and possibly following the advice of his closest counselor, refused medicine and treatment, leading to his death. The Empire, which had been weakening and destabilizing for years, immediately collapsed as various powers declared independence and the siege of Tarvalin was lifted. In addition, many believe Jalwin Morad furthered this chaos by assassinating the last of the High King's children, then becoming a royal advisor to other possible successors like Marathel Kamaline, Norodim Nosakawa, and Alfred Gwitama, each of which died under mysterious circumstances. After 40 years of causing as much damage as possible, Morad suddenly disappeared and was never heard from again. Following Arthur's death and the collapse of his empire, the Westlands fell to a hundred years of chaos and war. However, Hawkwing's empire continued on across the sea. Although the armada sent to Shara was likely defeated and destroyed, those sent under Luther to Shan Chan survived and established a settlement. Over the next 500 years, they expanded and conquered the native population, leading to their own period of consolidation, led by strong rulers said to be of the blood of Luther, son of Hawkwing. During their rise to power, the invaders destroyed all shadow spawn in the continent, and because of their distance to Sheol Ghul, the population could not recover, and so future generations came to believe the creatures were a myth. Although his empire in the Westlands died alongside him, Arthur Hawkwing was remembered as a legendary hero, warrior, and king for many years to come, and proved so valiant and mighty during his life that his spirit became tied to the Horn of Valir, an ancient item of power with the ability to call the greatest warriors of history from their graves so they might fight once more alongside the living. Love audiobooks? Then be sure to check out Audible, where they have the world's largest collection available. Simply sign up through the link in the description box below and get two free audiobooks to start out. A special thanks to all those who contribute to Civilization X, like Mistwalker, Transcender of Fates, Grandmaster Pupper of the Took, Galvelra Eight Hands, and Yorman Crow Killer. If you would like to help Civilization X, click on the Patreon link, and please be sure to like and subscribe, and click on the links to see more.